They're probably so far from this. Get on this Bernsey at bat here. Yeah. yeah. He's trying to break this 0 for 8. Unless Bernsey's hitting in the uh, down level seating <laughs> area. <laughs> Eric draws a walk. And up steps Miguel Tejada. Miguel with home run number 20. Boy, is he on a tear. Going to the nine. See if Corey Lytle can finish off this complete game shutout of the Power Rangers. Like tonight in every way. He gets Ruben Rivera on one pitch. Everybody up here at the Coliseum, 21,445. We're flashing back 30 years ago, and he's having a catfish hunter type of night. Or by the blue, or by the blue. <laughs> you could uh, pick your pick and choose there. And they could all do it, just like Corey Jonah tonight. Now here's Catalinato, stride. Well, one of the biggest plays for Corey might have been the double play back in the first inning after Catalinato walked. And the 1 6 3 double play, and that's when he started his run. This would be a first for Corey Lytle. He has never pitched a shutout in the major leagues, even in the minor leagues. He's only got two in his career. And Corey Lytle, you have just thrown a one-hit shutout of the Texas Rangers. What an outing. He only faced one batter over the minimum. He had a no-hitter through seven. Juan Gonzalez ended that with a leadoff double in the eighth. But he stranded that run and retired the next six. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> from uh, Corey Lytle. Well, the Oakland A's get a jam. Miguel Tejada, Scott Hatterberg, your man die all hit homers in the A's with a 10 to nothing route at the Texas Rangers. And they did it two hours and 32 minutes. And that's with putting a 10 spot on the board. The bullpen all happy. They didn't have to get up and do anything tonight except watch Corey Lytle. And what a tremendous performance by Lytle. Under the circumstances, because there's no question that every writer was asking Art Howe before the game, how many more does he get? How important is this start? Well, I think he just uh, quieted a lot of uh, people who were wondering about his future. What a tremendous hour. Everybody wants to get a piece of him. He clearly is the man of the hour. He's making his way over to talk to Glenn Kuyper. And Kuyper's all ready to go. Unbelievable. A one hit shot out and he had the no hitter through seven. Corey Lytle, I think, is all ready to roll. Kipe, what do you got for us? All right, thanks a lot, Greg. Yeah, he certainly is the hero tonight. Corey Lytle, tremendous performance. At what point did you start thinking about this no hitter? You got through seven without giving up a hit. About the sixth inning. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was just making my pitches tonight. They were hitting them, but they were hitting right out of the guys, so everything went as planned. And take us through the at-bat to Juan Gonzalez. Hey, this guy's a great hitter. He may be a Hall of Famer, but uh, but hey, you got through seven. That's not too shabby. Well, I, I started him off with curveballs early in the game, and it would have been a shame to, to go off speed if he's looking for it. And I just tried to sneak a fastball by him, and I think he was geared up for the fastball. And Corey, maybe the most impressive thing outside of giving up just one hit, 13 ground ball outs, including a double play. That's a good sign for you, so everything had to be worked. Tonight. That's a that's a real good sign for me. I've been getting a lot of pop flies early in the season, and, and I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong, but I changed my angle and my shoulders a little bit and been getting a lot of ground balls lately, so everything looks like it's going to turn around. Yeah, this has to feel awfully good because it has been a little bit of a frustrating year for you. You had a great second half last year. Maybe this will get you going in this second half. Definitely. I'm going to take this and roll with it. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Corey. Great job tonight. Thank you. All right, guys, back to you.